Hey Ed, it's Aaron. Uh, wanted to kind of videotape this bike so you had a chance to see it. Um, I'm going to go over the bike so you get a good idea of what you're looking at here. Uh, my friend here is going to zoom in on some of the parts on it, but it's a 2001 F2000. Um, it's an aluminum frame. It has the uh, lefty fork on it. Um, pretty much the 100 millimeters of travel. It has the ELO that he'll zoom in on. It's the push button lockout shock and you can also unlock it. Now it does have a little squish when you lock it out, but that's pretty common with any of the bikes. It also has this VRO system on it, which is a one-off handlebar system. There's a lot of adjustments here that you can do with the bike. And like I was saying, some of the paint is coming off the haze disc brakes. That was a big thing back in the day. Um, some of the paint is kind of peeling off of the brakes. But overall, the bike's in pretty good shape. Um, we do have the shifters. They are the XT shifters on it. He can come around and show you how they work. They're just a push button for the gear. They're not the grip shift that you were talking about. Also, um, I put a pair of paddles on it. I like the leverage when I'm climbing. Um, the bike has a quick release seat on it, uh, seat post. Um, it's an aftermarket seat. I wanted a little bit more cushion, so I put that on it. Also, um, you'll see it has XTR rear derailleur on it, which is pretty much top of the line for race components along with an XT uh, front derailleur that's on as well. Coda crank system on it. Coda was the uh, racing component for Cannondale back in the day and that was uh, pretty high-end equipment for them. Also you'll see that we have the uh, Mavic rims. That was an additional add-on that I put on the rims. These rims are bulletproof. Um, they are the 26 inch rims and the rims at the time were probably about $800 a pair to $1,000 a set. So um, it does have full disc brakes on it, lockout front and rear front, or the, the, the rear is a lockout. You can, it's a quick release system on it. But uh, the bike's in pretty good condition. We have some, some paint that's worn off on it, but um, you know, that's kind of normal wear and tear. On the other side here, you can see um, there's some paint here where the, uh, the chain has hit. Um, a chain guard would probably take care of that. But overall, um, that is the bike. Um, I thought I'd try and make a video so you could actually see what you're looking at and uh, we can kind of go from there. If you have any questions, you can, uh, you can email me. Thanks.